What's up you guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm Abraham to make today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jai, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, sending positive vibes to you, we are back with Hood Nature. Shout out to Hood Nature because most of these videos I get the most views from, so shout out to him. Um, we are back with Hood Nature, and this is... Um, I don't like this bird. I don't like this bird. That's it. That's the title. He don't like birds straight up. So sit back, relax, let's watch it. We need to talk about this because I didn't even know this bird existed until a few hours ago. And I kind of wish I could go back to that. It might be racial profiling, but I don't trust this feathery golf ball purely off principle. And between the mad scientist's hair and the soulless eyes, it honestly looks like Rick and Morty committed sex crimes on a duck. If anyone knows what this feathery abomination is, I'll be impressed because I didn't. For those of you that think I'm going way too hard on a bird for no reason, it has a mullet. That's not okay. Apparently they use that long black, I'm talking about their beak. They use that bill the same way you would use tongs at a cookout to snatch small fish, frogs, crabs, and basically anything wow. else. And of course this demon duck is part of the Australian census. And for those of you like me that have never seen this before, That's it's a royal spook bird, and this yeah. video is not over. Because this bird looks like it was personally designed to with my sanity. It looks like a diseased corner store flamingo. And just like flamingos, they're pink because of the carotenoid in the shrimp they eat. But all I really care about is the fact that the Rosietta spoonbill looks like a Jurassic pride flag. And unlike this Rick and Morty bullshit, like this, this deformed from flamingo from is found in Central South age. America. They're harmless to normal people, but not to me because I value my mental health and this is a threat to it. Uh-oh. Oh. It's a baby western grebe. Now what is a grebe, you ask? The grebe is a type of aquatic diving bird found in Northwest America and part of Canada. We thought they were related to ducks and loons, but they're actually closer to flamingos because of course they are. They swim exactly like prehistoric birds used to, by turning themselves into submarines with feathers. They're oh, able to pull it. a roadrunner on water because they slap the water so hard that it creates tiny air pockets that they can partially run over. They're also fast enough to keep from sinking because they can take as many as 10 strides a second through the power of what scientists officially refer to as crackhead determination. Also, they'll eat their own feathers and then pluck them out and feed them to their children. I don't know why they do this. Also, this bird's genus name is Podiceps, which is Latin for anus foot. Overall, weird bird. Um, okay. Now, you would expect this kind of nonsense to have an Australian area code, but nah, this Lucifer lizard is as American as student loans in a disregard for the metric system. That's a horned lizard, and yeah, that's actual blood coming out of its eyes. Mm. When pressed, the lizard restricts blood flow, leaving the head until the blood pressure ruptures tiny vessels around the eyelids. Not only can this hell gecko squirt eye ketchup up to five feet away, but this lizard has aimbot, as ridiculous as that sounds. Basically a Pokemon that went too far. This attack is super effective against candidates like coyotes and wildcats because not only is the blood foul tasting, it also confuses the god fear and out of them. To be fair, if you got blood for breeze by your own Big Mac, it'd probably make you rethink every life choice that brought you there. Also, this blood attack doesn't affect predatory birds, but they have no soul, so of course it doesn't. The horny toad, which it's called for some reason, is a state reptile of Wyoming. You can find them in the American Southwest. If you see one, it's probably this guy, the Texas horned lizard. But if it sees you, it could have you looking like your messages with your crush. Left on red, disrespect intent. I guess the horny toad likes to hop on it. It's you funny how it suddenly became my job to explain stuff like this when if you scroll all the way down my TikTok, my videos had nothing to do with animals. The difference a year makes. They said That's some crazy. type of Anyway, monkey. this video was taken on Rayleigh Beach know. in Krabi, Thailand. And I don't mean to freak you out, but um... They're real. I mean, the monkeys aren't, but the people inside them are. They're performance actors in costume, and this Ewok ritual stage to freak out tourists that didn't know any better. It's actually funny, because I could have sworn this video went viral back in 2018, but oh. to be fair, if you thought this was real, you probably weren't alive back then. I like how I said that, like, I wasn't one of the people that... Oh, it's people in costume. I was. And these troll monkeys were designed wow. by Tori Reigns, a Norwegian performance artist. I'm actually pretty sure you can buy oh, the costumes on Pause. Mm. Hold on. Life is. Here's how this man survived being swallowed by, by a whale. It's swallowed because technically he didn't get swallowed. When lobster diver Michael Packer was diving off Provincetown, Massachusetts, he ended up in a whale's mouthpiece. But what mm -hmm. saved him was the whale was a humpback. As uh -oh. a filter feeder, they have bristles called baleen instead of teeth, which is how Packer was able to avoid becoming a pack. But the thing with humpbacks, just like other baleen whales like blue whales, they physically can't bristles, swallow right? a human because their throats are so small that they can't handle anything bigger than a grapefruit. With a throat the size of a small saddle plate trying to deep throw a human would put any whale out of commission. So lucky for him, the whale couldn't swallow him if it wanted to. The only really dangerous part is that humpback whales are sold out and they can actually burst your eardrums and even cause air bubbles to form inside you, which is an instant RIP. But because Packard was an experienced diver, he already had two busted eardrums, which is actually the most impressive part of this story. 
So what actually happened was a whale accidentally put him in his mouth for about 30 seconds before realizing his mistake and spitting him out. And because he had his scuba gear, he was able to survive without getting any serious injuries. See ya. Moral of this video, humpbacks can't swallow you, but they can give you the greatest story you could ever tell at parties. His friends can try, but nothing they say will ever stop getting jonah by a whale. Okay, fair, I probably should explain that. So yes, snow leopards aren't actually leopards. Snow leopards are That's part of the panthera squad with lions, tigers, jaguars, and actual leopards. But it turns out, out of all those cats, snow leopards are genetically closest to tigers. Basically, snow leopards and tigers shared a common ancestor about 2 million years ago. When you think about it, that's not that long ago. For reference, we were believed to have a common ancestor with chimpanzees about 6 to 8 million years ago. So yeah, tigers and snow leopards are cousins, and they're actually way closer to each other than snow leopards are to real leopards. Exactly. Moral of this video, we call them snow leopards, and we really should be calling them ice tigers. That's actually kind of tough. If you're watching this, you're welcome ice in tigers. advance. That's These are Honduran nice. white bats. They're also called Caribbean tent-making bats. And that's because they'll make little huts by cutting down the middle of a leaf in a way that makes it fall down like a tent that protects ball. them from rain, the hot sun, and predators. And these white bats will huddle together in groups of 10 to 15 and sleep during the day. And because this Caucasian Caribbean bat weighs as much as a couple Skittles, it's one of the smallest sky puppies in the world. And for those of you afraid of bats, this flying Q-tip is a vegan that eats almost nothing but one special type of fig. And as for why they break the rule of nature by wearing white in the jungle, scientists believe they do this because a gang of white bats look suspiciously like a wasp nest that ops like squirrel monkeys. And the same way girls might sync up and go on the rag at the same time, all the bats in the colony also synchronize and give birth within a couple days of each other. But if I'm being honest, the only reason I told you that was so I'd have an excuse to show you this. You can find this living cotton ball in Central America in countries like Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, and of course Honduras. Okay. Send this to someone who hates bats. I promise you they'll fold. Baby animal bats you didn't know you I mean, needed. That's an elephant. Baby dolphins never sleep once for the first month of their life, which means neither does a mother since they have to watch over their child 24-7. And for the mothers oh, about to come in same, nah, like for an entire calendar page, neither the baby or the mother sleeps sleep. once. And in that time, the baby becomes a mom's shadow, learning how to be a dolphin by mimicking her every move. Baby dolphins get so attached that they'll hang around even when they're old enough to take care of themselves. Sounds familiar, right? Baby gators use their moms as hoovers. Baby alligators ride in their mother's mouth as she carries them in and out of the water. When they get bigger, they'll just ride on her back. Gotta show love to the fathers too, because the father Dario will carry all of his children on his back to keep them close. <laughs> and since he shoots more shots in the future, he can have up to a hundred of his children father, on his back. So you don't get child support, you are father. the child support. Baby elephants basically have an awkward teen phase because they have no idea how to use their trunk. It takes years for them to completely figure it out, but until then, they stumble and trip over themselves. They'll also swing their trunks around helicopter in a way that's way too familiar, and they'll even suck their trunks the same way a child does with their thumb. And once they learn how to blow, you'll see a lot of baby elephants blow bubbles in waters for no reason other than they just find it fun. Baby <laughs> animal facts you definitely needed to hear. Like That's not real. Baby sea turtles will talk to each other while still in the egg to make sure they all hatch at the same time. Mama sea turtles can lay up to 100 eggs in the clutch, and these fetus sprinkles will use a series of chirps, grunts, and hypertones to coordinate their hatching time. They do this because hatching at the same time gives them safety in numbers when they free for all crawl to the ocean. Because when you're that small, your best defense is hoping your brother gets snatched up instead of you. Yep. This is actually a baby panda. When pandas come into the world, they're about 3.5 ounces and the same size as a stick of butter. They're basically born undercooked, and pandas have the smallest babies of any mammal relative to their mother's size. Baby pandas are 900 times smaller than their mothers, and I'll be like the average American baby weighing just under 3 ounces. That's about as much as a deck of playing cards. Baby pandas are stupidly tiny. The nine-banded armadillo always has quadruplets. No, like every single time. It's always four. That's because the armadillo fertilized egg will split into four identical embryos meaning like ninja turtles or a frat boy with both standards armadillos always come in fours mm -hmm. also this turtle gerbil decides when it wants to be pregnant procrastinating being knocked up for up to four months to make sure the shell puppies are armadillo, armadillo when i was in florida you wish that were i never seen one in person so that was i don't like this bird i don't like this animal um hood fact hood nature facts that i didn't know about there's so much things and when i seen the um what is it? The monkeys in the cave? People in costumes? People saying it was monkey, but seeing it here, it was people in costumes the whole time. And animals are just going to be animals. Either you like them or you don't. <laughs> so tell me guys if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have the most awesome part of the day. Until next time, you guys.